In this video, we're going to learn how to use the Centec digital multimeter to measure voltage in a simple circuit. Now, a multimeter is an electronic instrument that can be used to measure many different uh, functions in a, an electric circuit. We're only going to focus on measuring voltage in uh, this simple circuit here. As you can see, this knob has many different settings, so it's pretty confusing to use. We're going to only use the DC volts setting because we're measuring direct current volts, that is constant voltage. We're going to set it to 20 volts because our circuit is powered by a 6 volt battery. And so if I set this thing to 20 volts, we know that we're not going to see anything more than that. That's the upper limit that this readout will read. Now, <clears throat> to set up the probes for this, very important to connect them correctly, the black lead plugs into the bottom plug which says COM for common. And the red lead goes into the one that's marked V with the omega and the MA. And the V stands for volts. There's another socket up here and we don't want to use that right now. So we're going to plug the red one into the volt reading. We're going to turn the power on and uh, it tells us that there's no voltage right now, which is good. Now if we take the voltmeter and we touch it to the leads of the battery, which is supposed to be a 6 volt battery, and it says 5.99, 5. yeah. Now, we have here a simple circuit consisting of a battery, a resistor, a light bulb, and the wires to connect them. So if I connect this red wire up here to the positive terminal, the current flows through the red wire, through the resistor, through the light bulb, and back. Now, I can measure the voltage of the battery and without disturbing the circuit. So the circuit is live. And all I have to do is touch the two leads. The black one is the negative, the red one's the positive, and I should see 6 volts. As a matter of fact, I see a little bit less than that, 5.65 volts, because the battery is a little bit old, tired, and uh, so it's, it's kind of dropping its voltage as, as it gets a little tired. Now I can measure across the resistor by putting the red lead on the more positive. And remember, current's flowing through from the positive to the negative. So this is the more positive side, and I should see about, well, 3.3 .3 volts. Then I can measure across the bulb, taking my two probes. Again, this side is going to be more positive. The black end over here is connected to the negative terminal, so we know that this is the negative end. So I could plug that there, and I get 2.35 volts. So we can measure any two points, the voltage between any two points, the bulb, the resistor, or the battery simply by poking the live circuit with these two probes. You have to properly configure it to DC volts and you have to plug the wires into the correct sockets. And If you don't do that, you won't get a valid measurement. Now, what does the circuit actually look like? Let's focus on that and I'll draw the schematic. So the basic circuit is a 6 volt battery. Here's the positive side. And we have a simple resistor and a light bulb. And that's the basic circuit. Now, when we want to measure the voltage, the symbol for a voltmeter, which is when we use the, the digital multimeter as a, to measure volts, is a circle with a V in it. And that represents an old-fashioned gauge, a dial gauge. And you can still find some voltmeters that have dial gauges on them. And then all we did is we take the probe, the negative probe, that way, and uh, the positive probe. And if we wanted to measure the voltage across the light bulb, we just do that. So the, the uh, voltmeter is in parallel. So you can see that the, this is in parallel with this, the uh, device that we want to measure. So if we want to measure the voltage of the, the bulb, we put it in parallel of that. If we want to measure the, 
the voltage across the resistor. We move these leads in parallel with the resistor. And if we want to measure the voltage across the battery, we just take these leads and it becomes parallel to the, uh, the battery. Time for a quiz. True or false? To measure the voltage across a device, you can simply place the two probes on the two points of the live circuit. That's true.